Hello traders, it's Thursday, September the 22nd and here is our New York Review. U.S. investors and their counterparts globally were able to take a deep breath after the Federal Reserve continued to prove cautious on Wednesday. The Fed talked about a possible interest rate hike for December, but that remains to be seen. Wall Street gained after the Fed's decision across all the major indexes. The U.S. dollar did start to lose ground to the yen, euro and pound, and it remains on the weaker side of its range in early trading today. Weekly unemployment claims will come from the states today, but traders will still be focused on the Fed's cautious attitude from yesterday. Wednesday's Bank of Japan decision is still being digested by investors as they take into consideration all the potential implications. After initially losing ground yesterday, the yen has actually gotten stronger against the US dollar. With Japan on holiday today, the yen has essentially consolidated, but Japan will be back to full trading volume tomorrow and it will be dynamic. Asian stocks put in gains today, among them the Shanghai Shenzhen Index from China. The euro and pound have both gained against the US dollar since the decision from the US Federal Reserve not to raise its interest rate. The industrial order expectations reading has recently been released from the UK, but its effect on the markets will be muted. After testing short-term support levels, both the euro and pound have effectively started to show a short-term trend upwards. European Central Bank President Mario Draghi will be speaking today at a financial conference in Germany. He is not expected to surprise investors, but his speech should be monitored. European indexes have turned in some gains in early trading this morning. Gold has maintained its value after yesterday's gains. The precious metal may find a renewed amount of interest now that the Federal Reserve has remained cautious. Gold has had a flair for volatility the past couple of months. Today's results could prove interesting for the precious metal if it is able to hold onto the value it added on Wednesday. Gold could finish the week with a bang. The U.S. will release its weekly unemployment claims at 12.30 GMT this afternoon. ECB President Mario Draghi will deliver a speech in Germany starting about 1 GMT. And then the U.S. will follow with existing home sales data at 2 p.m. GMT. Thank you all for watching our New York Review. We'll see you again soon and have a happy and profitable trading day.